good morning. Welcome back to the Reels channel on YouTube. And I am freezing. It is like less than 60 degrees and that water was super cold. Uh, no run today. Uh, me, Eric, and Nathan from Method Box freaking went on like a 10 mile walk yesterday. And uh, I went live for like three and a half hours this morning and then another two hours last night and it got crazy. I am, what's up dude? Yeah, I'm watching YouTube videos. Oh, for real? Yeah, what's up? Okay. What's up guys, make sure you sub to Jake McCollin right now. Holy crap, the iced coffee hour. What's your name again? Sam. Sam. What's up? Eric. What's good? Made it. Dreamer, thank you so much. What's up, Nathan? What's up, we with Method Box out here. Zania! 100 freaking dollars. Oh. You're Method Box? Yeah. I'm stuck to your channel, man. Oh, hey, dude. Yeah, all oh, man, hey. YouTubers. What if I just like randomly decided to put this clip in, in, in one of my future videos? I think she wants to have sex with you. Oh, man. Sarah, what's your you want shout out? Beautiful pink hair. <laughs> all three different lives were freaking amazing seriously everyone that that donated and uh yeah we started off the morning with some mcdonald's coffee which was still a dollar 75 which i actually wasn't too happy about i i still need to go to a 7-eleven just usually the first place that i go to is also the place that i use the bathroom get ready for the day and so i can't imagine that 7-eleven bathrooms are always easily accessible oh Picked up the Starbucks, figured we'd make some money while uh, we wait for the post office to open. Did I ever tell y'all that on Christmas Day when I tried working that I spilt coffee all over my car? This uh, coffee just spilt all over my bed. Just got our second order for Jelena Takeaway? Be free. Fun fact, uh, bumblebees are actually like one of my favorite animals slash insects because uh, they serve one person, okay, being the queen, and they're literally willing to die for what they're serving. And I just picked up the GTA <laughs> Oh, okay. This is by far the most amount of merch I'm ever gonna have to drop off. I mean, just look, guys, guys. I'm trying not to show any addresses. Are y'all kidding me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of y'all. Oh my God, this is insane. I freaking love y'all. Shout out Chris, Bonnie, Dan Dana, Charity, Anthony, Christopher and Jesus. Oh. All right guys, nothing in the P.O. box today. Um, there was a homeless guy sitting in front of the post office and so I give him some money or whatever, I get back to my car and all of a sudden I see the homeless man drive off in a Volkswagen right past me. Like, are you serious? Now I'm eating this sandwich, I, we're like somewhere in West LA and uh, I feel like it's time to kind of go back to our roots, kind of get back to the delivery game, but I don't think I really want to do that here in uh, c closer to Los Angeles because I haven't, I've honestly not been having that much luck. So I think we're going to travel down south today. By the way, check this out right here. I actually uh, got this new tripod right here specifically for... Uh, this is like Inception right now, filming on two different things at the same time. But I got it specifically for uh, meeting meeting with Graham so I could film the whole entire podcast with Graham. And uh, I freaking love this thing. We just made it to uh, Newport Beach slash uh, Costa Mesa. Um, we're actually at the same pavilions, if y'all remember, where I uh, bought Sophia's strawberries. She had a lot, a lot of luck working over here. So let's get to work. All right, guys. It took a while, but we just got our first order. It is super windy out here, but we are picking up an order from 7-Eleven. Dang, these people really just ordered a bunch of junk food: Diet Coke, frozen Coke, or whatever. Gum, Doritos, Diet Pepsi. <sighs> Just dropped off that 7-Eleven order. And now we're at some place called uh, My Greek Kitchen. Next order looks like we're going to a place called Mi Casa, authentic Mexican food. Oh, this, uh, this order's got a little bit of 
alcohol in it. Maybe my customer will get a little junky junk. A little junky junk. Maybe give me a fat tip. I dropped off to this woman. She's like, I ain't, I'm 61 years old. I ain't been carted in a long time because we have to scan the, the driver's license when we drop off alcohol. And I was like, you don't look a day over. And I paused because I was going to say 50. But then I was like, 30. It's actually a pretty chilly night tonight. It's been sprinkling all day too, but we just got an order for Dabari Kebab Persian Grill. I have got to start working out again. Dropped off one order on our way to go and pick, drop off the second one. Just by the door? Yeah, just by the door. He said behind the door. I don't know what it means. Whatever door you see, just leave it next to it. Okay. <laughs> he's running behind, so I don't think he's there. Okay, no worries. Take All right. Care. You Bye -bye. too. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, thank you. You too. That last house was uh, was really nice, but it was kind of hard to see because it was dark. And uh, now I've got a really bad headache. And now it's like uh, 7 p.m. according to my calculator watch. This is probably the 11th time I've tried to film this clip. Just ate some Taco Bell, and I I am at I'm at a loss for for for, for words. Okay, here we go again. Another emotional spill. Um. This is so stupid, man. But for Jake, for this reason, I feel like people, this is why people watch you is because you actually show what is going through your head. Well, what is going through your head? I'm like, number one, I'm just like bored of this, of this place. Compared to like Santa Monica and Venice Beach, but I came here for the work, okay? And the delivery game here is is good. But it's like, Jake, do you actually want to be working delivery jobs right now? Um, you know, I just thought it'd be a good idea to do a, you know, an OG DOD. <clears throat> I think it also just has a little bit to do with like writer's block and trying to, you know, come up with the best ideas for my subscribers. Good morning. Se 7.02 a.m. I actually got up five minutes ago because a whole bunch of construction workers were working right next to my car. I got some, some coffee, finally, at 7-Eleven. But for some stupid reason, this thing still cost $1.79. But I think what I'm supposed to do is buy the big cup and then keep the big cup and keep getting refills for 70 cents. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments below. This place is beautiful. Uh, it's actually the next day. I've pretty much been <sighs> taking the time to edit what you've seen so far and kind of migrate my way back over here to uh, Los Angeles. Um, we've actually got the uh, Dodgers Stadium behind us and I'm currently at Elysian Park and more specifically at Angels Point. And yes, I do have an LA hat on now. I've been wanting one for a really long time, but I like was trying to hold back from getting it until I felt like I deserved it. And uh, I feel like LA has pretty much like helped grow the channel uh, exponentially. And so I kind of feel like that's when I was like, okay, I feel like I deserve it, but nonetheless, it doesn't really matter. Guys, super important. I'm mostly just saying this for myself because I'm calling myself out right now. Always like write things down or prepare or have a goal to look forward to because lately for me, it's just been like go, go, go or things have just popped up. Like the past three or four videos have been collabs. Like things just keep popping up and it's been awesome. And now that I'm kind of at a point where it's like where I'm having to come up with, with content, I'm like, I'm really struggling. And so the past couple of days I've been like, well, maybe we should go to San, San Francisco or San Diego. Um, you know, that's where I was headed earlier when we went down to uh, Newport to, to work. I was just going to keep going south, but then I don't know. It's like LA has like a gravitational pull on me and I started watching all these videos um, 
you know, about these other cities, and I'm just like, uh, to me, I feel like it just doesn't compare. I was literally bored watching them, and I'm sorry if, if you're from those towns. Um, clearly, I'm not savvy enough about those towns. I, I don't know, guys. Just something keeps bringing me back here. But yeah, guys, I, I kind of just feel like this video kind of sucked. I just feel like I was talking the whole time, but hopefully one of y'all will, maybe y'all will love it. I'm not sure. I just know this video is a lot different than what I usually put out, and I kind of feel like it's subpar, but uh, I don't know. I kind of just feel like this was a failure, but at least we're failing forward. And actually, I had one more thing I wanted to say before I kind of make my way back towards this Lowe's to finish editing up the vlog. I had a dream last night, and it's not very often I remember my dreams, but imagine kind of like a, a Mad Max scene, like kind of apocalyptic world. Um, and do y'all remember as kids uh, kind of crawling through the tunnels on the playgrounds? There would be like a little hole and like a little window that you could poke your kid little face out of and be like, hi mommy or whatever. But me and like two other friends find this like ginormous like slide, or not a slide, tunnel. And it's just a huge incline that goes up and up and up. So you can at the very top see this scenic, um, landscape of, of everything so we're me and two other people are like trying to climb up up this uh tunnel and uh the girl in front of me is like crawling taking her her sweet ass time uh but just admiring um the views from from these window holes and uh but but me on the other hand i'm just trying to get to the top to make it to the the end goal so i can just see everything at the, at the very top right um, but the girl in front of me, she was enjoying the process of getting to the top. And uh, when, once we get to the top, the dream just like teleports and we're already back on the ground. So I never even got to enjoy getting to the top and, and, and seeing everything. And uh, the point of the story is, and Gary Vaynerchuk says this, um, you've got to enjoy the process of whatever it is that you're going for um, in, in, in life, whether it's said achievement, said goal, um, because everything that you're going to learn is, I feel like, more important than actually getting to the reward, if you, if you know what I mean. You've got to love the process. Um, I don't know if that is going to help anyone saying that. I don't know. It, 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 makes, it makes sense in my head, but um, guys, I love you. Sorry for this video, um, but like, subscribe, tell your friend on Neighborhood Spider-Man about the channel, your family and friends. We're making, we're trying to make movies out here, and um, I love y'all. Seriously, thanks for being the most supportive channel on YouTube, and uh, we'll see y'all in the next one.